Hey, hey, how's everybody doing? Hello. Hey, hey, how are you? How was your day? Fine. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm good. Sleepy. <laughs> A little sleepy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Can you imagine? It's, it's Thursday, almost ready for tomorrow, for Friday to relax. I know. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting for that. <laughs> that's the best thing, huh? Friday, that's it. And then we just relax a little bit. Yeah. Okay. So uh, we are going to first, we're going to make a, a small groups. And we're just going to take our small groups. We're going to take about five minutes just to catch up about our day. Ask questions. What did you do? Where did you go? Uh, what was different? How, how was it? Uh, who, who did you do it with? Okay. So we're just going to take a few moments. This will give us time for us to practice on our fluency and pronunciation and give time for other people that are running a little bit late maybe to join us. So Mary, did you have a question? No, no, okay. sorry. No problem. All right, let's make our groups and let's just catch up about today. Romulo, you okay? Yeah, it was not a lot of people in the work. Yes. Yeah. So I, it I was. I think that all the people was uh, was sleeping. <laughs> oh yeah, because of the rain and the all the weather. Yes, the weather influenced a lot of. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and what time do you arrive to your house at the end of the day? Mm, at the end of the day, well. I, I I went to the gym, so I came home at the 8.30. That's late, but <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's good that you go to the gym. Yes, yes, I need it. <laughs> yeah, because maybe all day we don't have so much activity. Yes, but only I think stay, stay, uh, stay. Stand up. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. And I think, it, well, right now I'm not doing exercise, but uh, before the quarantine, I did all day. I mean, every day. Uh -huh. But now I think that. Lunch at 2, 3 p.m. And I really tired. It. Really, really tired. It. But. But he looks like he's very intelligent and learn fast or not. Yeah, but I think he's like shy and he's, it, it's difficult that that department, you know, and he's like, I, I feel that he's like, like that he has too much information and, and he can't, can um, have everything in her hands and his mind. I don't know how to explain it. And uh, have you tried to do? I am the third one right over here in this group. Yeah. Oh, okay. No. Welcome to the jungle. Right. <laughs> <Sayok. laughs> okay. I come very, very late to the class. 
So I don't know why are, you are doing. Uh, we well, are talking. We about just it. talk about our days. Yeah. Uh, how was your day, Bessie? Okay, okay, okay. Well, my day was very busy. Oh, I have really? to go in the morning to my job, to the office in Sonsonate. It was mm -hmm. raining. Uh, the climb was was good, but but that way it wasn't. <laughs> yeah. Okay. How was uh, uh, to pass uh, the Los Chorros, Los Chorros Street or, or Boulevard? I don't know. Monday and Friday mm -hmm. to, to 6 30 a.m. Mm -hmm. But I'm happy because this week I don't have class. And I um, I uh, go in bed to very late because I, I have a finally finally the report. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, it's the life. <laughs> yeah, that's the way it is. We have to. If we don't work, we don't eat. Yeah. Oh, we, we don't go to the office yet. So mm -hmm. I had to stay home. Um, and nothing special. Only to work, have a little meetings. And with a very cold weather. Okay, great. So we're just catching up a little bit about our day. And we just want to make sure that we're using the correct uh, past tense. So remember, when you're talking about your day, when you're explaining what you did, you need to make sure that you use the past tense. Not only, uh, you know, I work, but you need to make sure you pronounce it with a T, I worked. Or not only uh, I finish, but you need to put with I finished. Okay, so, uh, or I start, it's I started. So all of those little things uh, helping us with the past tense. And um, that's one of the things just to help us to remember when we're speaking about it. The other is, uh, today we're going to be continuing with what we started yesterday. And yesterday we started to look at favors. Do you remember? There were different ways to ask for favors. We had like the informal way. Do you remember which one was the, the most common informal? No. Can you or could you please? Could. That's right. Can or could. Those are the two most informal and the most common, right? Can I? Could I? Uh, could you? Okay. Can you? Those are the ones. And then we, we saw one of the most formal ways. What, what was one of the, the ways that it's very formal to ask? May I? A little bit more. More than may I. I There's, wonder. I wonder if you... I wonder if I... You can. That's right. It's the expression with wonder. I was wondering if, I wonder, like this. This is usually pretty formal, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to listen to three conversations. And in the three conversations, I want you to identify what is the request and if the person accepts or they don't accept the request. So if you remember, for example, yesterday, uh, we saw the video about the friend uh, and her, um, the friend asked if they wouldn't mind watching the sister. Remember that? They said, oh, can you watch my sister? And the friend said, sure, no problem. And then they accepted. So that's what we want to do. We want to do two things. What is the request? And if the person accepts or they don't accept to do that request. It's okay? Okay. Okay. All right. So, here. Hello? Hi, Robert. This is Tina. Hi, Tina. What's up? Well, actually, would you mind lending me your camera for a few days? I want to take some photos of my new apartment to send to my folks. No problem. You can borrow it. Oh, thanks a million. Hello? Hi, Maggie. This is Kyle. Oh, hi. How are things with you? Pretty good. Listen, I was wondering if I could borrow your bread maker. My bread maker? Don't tell me you are going to bake. 
I know. I'm planning to cook dinner for my girlfriend this weekend, and I want to bake bread. And I want it to be perfect. I remember you baked some amazing bread with that thing. So what do you say? Can I borrow it? I'll be careful. Well, I have bad news. It's broken. I've been meaning to get it fixed, but I haven't gotten around to it yet. Oh, too bad. But you know, you can always just bake bread on your own. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe I'll just go to a bakery. Hello? Hi, Li Ling. It's Phil. Hi, Phil. What's up? Not much, but I was wondering if I could ask you for a favor. Maybe. Try me. Well, I have to go out of town for a few days next week. Uh-huh. Could I leave Polly with you while I'm gone? Polly? Who's Polly? You know. Polly. My bird. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Your bird. I don't know, Phil. I really don't like birds very much. They're messy, and they make a lot of noise, and... No! Not Polly. She's really a great bird. She's really clean and very quiet. She won't bother you, I promise. Oh, all right. I'll do it. Thanks. I really appreciate it. I'll bring her over on Tuesday night. Okay. But you owe me one. Okay. So, <laughs> one more time or was that okay? It's okay. I got it. One more time, <laughs> please. One more time? Okay. One more time, please. Sure, no problem. <laughs> Mind lending me your camera? Hello? Or this Here we go, one more time. Us. Hello? Hi, Robert. This is Tina. Hi, Tina. What's up? Well, actually, would you mind lending me your camera for a few days? I want to take some photos of my new apartment to send to my folks. No problem. You can borrow it. Oh, thanks a million. Hello? Hi, Maggie. This is Kyle. Oh, hi. How are things with you? Pretty good. Listen, I was wondering if I could borrow your bread maker. My bread maker? Don't tell me you are going to bake. I know. I'm planning to cook dinner for my girlfriend this weekend, and I want to bake bread. Yeah. And I want it to be perfect. I remember you baked some amazing bread Sorry. with that thing. So, what do you say? Can I borrow it? I'll be careful. Well, I have bad news. It's broken. I've been meaning to get it fixed, but I haven't gotten around to it yet. Oh, too bad. But you know, you can always just bake bread on your own. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe I'll just go to a bakery. Hello? Hi, Li Ling. It's Phil. Hi, Phil. What's up? Not much, but I was wondering if I could ask you for a favor. Maybe. Try me. Well, I have to go out of town for a few days next week. Uh-huh. Could I leave Polly with you while I'm gone? Polly? Who's Polly? You know. Polly. My bird? Oh, yeah, I forgot. Your bird. I don't know, Phil. I really don't like birds very much. They're messy, and they make a lot of noise, and... No! Not Polly. She's really a great bird. She's really clean and very quiet. She won't bother you, I promise. Oh, all right. I'll do it. Thanks. I really appreciate it. I'll bring her over on Tuesday night. Okay. But you owe me one. Okay. <laughs> This is what we're going to do. We're going to make our groups. And in the groups, you're going to discuss the three conversations. Uh, what were the requests? And the person accept or they didn't accept. Okay, that's the first activity. The second activity is we're going to talk about what requests have people asked you and you said no to. Okay, so what things have people asked you or you found maybe unusual? Okay, so. Part one, it's about the listening. Part two is about you. What have people asked you that you've had to say no to? Or what unusual requests have people made of you? Okay. So 
We're going to form our groups. It's okay. Are there any questions about what we're going to do in the groups? No. All right. Let's practice. <clears throat> How about you? Hello. How about you? I'm okay. So, do you understand the uh, the three conversation? I have to, to borrow the camera to, 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 to Tina. Yes, and the second one, um, the Hello. guy, the guy was was talking about borrow a bread maker the bread yeah. maker yeah but uh but it was broken right? it was broken right yes my, yeah. my mistake, the, the bread maker is uh, broken yes and the third one was about polly the bear and he was asking for the girl and she take care of the bird for a few days yeah, that was a big favor, I think. Yes. Yeah. He needs the camera because uh, her camera, it wasn't function. That's correct? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. What do you think, Bane? And uh, she asked to... I understand that part too. Uh, <laughs> In the first conversation. In the first conversation, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. In the second one, they were talking about uh, take care about... She doesn't doesn't like birds, so she she was like, maybe, I don't know. And he explains here that the, the parrot was it wasn't messed and she at the end accept but i i remember a phrase she said you owe me one i mean this school mean that he shall give her a favor in the future mm -hmm. uh, yeah Yes, if the, the, the picture, the, yeah, the, the, the woman don't like the bird, yes, but accept her the bird for still, maybe, I, I don't remember. Yes, Phil. Mm -hmm. So, yes. in the past, um, oh. Have you ever no? For I, I, for some people, it, it is difficult to me to say no. But yes, me too. For some people, it's like easily no. I can't. <laughs> no, very fast. No, I can't. No, no, I can't. I do have time. I don't care. because it is like people very noisy and very. Very always try to make a, I want this favor. Can you ask me? In, can you help in this? Or can you help in that? But another people, even uh, I can. Yeah, me neither. Maybe money. Yeah, you know, but <laughs> if you don't have, you don't have money. <laughs> I don't um, have money. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> Mm, uh, when someone asks, asks me for my number, <laughs> my oh, cell yeah, phone number, that's... yes, it's, mm, something I, I have said there, something uh, I it don't depends. know my number. It depends. Ah, it depends. <laughs> depends on the face of the... My, my, little, yo, my little toy, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can't. <laughs> 
They are pretty nice, those cars. Yes, it's uh, like uh, and the technology and uh, the comfort is very nice. Wow. You may you may be laughing. My car is a spark, but I love the the gas. It's cheaper than a bus, really. Yeah. yeah. Ne 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 never never left to you. Okay. You see that the trees has uh, fallen in the uh, street. So you're I right. That, yeah, I think that is very dangerous. Off. Exactly. And I think the street is really dangerous in this moment for yeah. all the, 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 the rain, right? Yeah. Even if the, uh, here in my house in San Salvador was yeah. raining all morning, uh, you don't hear the rain, but I think that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I. I'm, I... I think so in the, um, I don't like the, the people sitting at my desk, for example, in the office, because oh. I have everything arranged in the, in the side, in all places, on, uh, on clean, the people touch everything. And uh, I don't like to sit in my desk. <laughs> Okay, are there any questions about how to make requests? Hi, everyone. Uh, teacher. Yeah. I have a doubt. Um, okay. When I use borrow, mm -hmm. is um, someone asking me for something? And when I use lend, I give you something to somebody, right? No. Depends on the pronoun. It depends if they say you or I. So, okay. So it depends on how they say it. So if they say, can I borrow? Is they want to use. Can they say, can you lend? They want you to give to them. Okay. So okay. The, so the same thing for you. For example, Mary, um, imagine you want $5. Is your decision. You're going to say, can I borrow? Or you're going to say, can you lend? To ask me. But... So it's a, it's a matter of point of view. But, but the actions, who do the action? That's borrow? Right. I, so is, when you say borrow is normally with I, I borrow. Okay, okay. Okay, and when you say lend is the other person. Can you lend? Okay, okay, got it. Yep. Any other questions? Anybody else? Teacher, mm -hmm. what is the meaning of you owe me one? It means that uh, I do a favor for you, so later you have to do a favor for me. Okay. Any other word or questions? Okay. Nope. Perfect. Now, if you are looking at your WhatsApp, you will see that I have sent uh, making requests in a different form. Uh, this is the same that I'm going to share with you right now on the screen. And this is making requests, uh, what we call about indirect speech. Okay. So making indirect requests. Uh, the idea is that instead of being directly or instead of being straight with the person and you tell them, you know, do this or do that, okay, you just ask, okay, in, in another way. So here, the difference is that we normally use, if you can see, we have two forms. We usually use can you or could you, right? So instead of saying directly to Andrea, okay, we ask someone else to tell them. So instead of saying something directly to Jose, okay, we tell someone else to tell them. Those are the two words that we use, tell and ask. Tell, we're not going to get information back. Ask, they're going to give us an answer back, 
That's the difference. So when you tell someone something, it's because you are not getting information. You are only giving information. When you ask something, it's because you are going to receive information. So for example here, Jeff, Tony is having a party, okay? So we want to tell Jeff, could you tell Jeff and then the information, Tony is having a party or could you tell Jeff that Tony is having a party, okay? And if we look at them, okay, all of them are, we're trying to tell Jeff, we want to we wanna tell Jeff, don't be late. So instead of being direct, okay, instead of speaking to Jeff directly, we say, can you tell Jeff not to be late? Notice here, we do not use the auxiliary. We do not use don't. We change, we eliminate for the negative and only have the word not. Okay, we only have the word not. We do not have the word don't or do not, only not. So it's not correct. Uh, can you tell Jeff don't to be late or don't be late? No, we normally say, can you tell Jeff not to be late? All right, and the same thing for just no questions are, you know, the questions that begin with are, is, do, does, okay? And we say the same thing, can you, can you ask whoever we're talking about, can you, or can you tell if it was going to be, well, here no, not tell because it's a question, only can you ask. And then if you notice we have for yes, no, it's if or whether or not. These are the two expressions that we use. So for we use if or whether or not. So for yes, no questions we normally use, sorry, I'll put it here in the chat, okay. Or can you guys see it? Yes, right? Yes. All right, okay. So you use those, if or whether or not, if the question is going to be yes or no, okay? If the question's whatever, uh, when, wh uh, where, uh, how, what time, uh, how much, then it's just the same question, only that you say it there. Can you ask whoever you're talking about? And then the question, when the party starts or what time I should pick her up, okay? Now, what's the function of those? Really, the function is the same thing as a direct question. The only difference is that you're trying to be a little bit nicer. You're asking someone else uh, to, do the, to do that for you. So instead of you doing it, someone else is going to do it, okay? So if instead of me, for example, um, you know, maybe someone is nervous or scared, like uh, is not my friend, is your friend. And I say, hey, can you ask your friend if he can help me with this? Or can you ask your friend if she can, uh, you know, lend me the, the movie? I think yesterday we were talking with Veronica and a few other uh, people about books, right? Okay, so then imagine Veronica that we have the, uh, you set a book, right? I don't want to read the book, but my wife wants to read the book. Maybe you have, uh, you know, 50 Shades of Grey, for example. It's very popular. And I don't want to read it, but my wife wants to read it. And she, my wife asked me, hey, Evelyn, can you ask Veronica if I can borrow her book? That's when we use it, okay? Or maybe your boss. Maybe Romulo has his boss and he wants, uh, they want to give him a message. So I tell Veronica, hey, Veronica, uh, can you tell Romulo that I need to speak to him? Okay, so it doesn't sound like an order because the order is not for you, Veronica. It's only for you passing the message. Yes, only for you transmitting the information. That's why we use these words, can and could. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes. <clears throat> okay. Are there any questions about that? 
No? Okay. So I'm going to send two more examples into the group. You already have quite a few, but here, I'll send you a few more. Okay. So we can see, I'm going to share with you also the screen to make sure it's clear. Okay. So we see here, we have the sentence. All right. I'm talking to Jeff. All right. So I want to, I want to tell Jeff, uh, Tony is going to invite everyone from work. Okay. So Jeff is not there. Jeff is not present. Ah, so I tell someone else, hey, Veronica or Andrea or Andres or whoever you want, could you tell Jeff that? And then the information. Tony is going to invite everyone from work. Notice that is the same, even if it's a question, even if it's a question, we use the same structure as a sentence. The only thing that changes is at the beginning, the could you or can you, okay? The same thing here. Tony is going to have a lot of food and drinks at the party. Okay, the same thing. Could you, and then we say to the person, could you tell Jeff that? And then the same information that Tony is going to have a lot of food at the party. One more time. What is the function? The function is to transmit information or make requests from someone that is not present. Is that okay so far? We're going to practice a little bit with our groups. Okay. So we're going to make, uh, we're going to try to have groups of three. I think just about everybody had groups of three. We're going to change just one of them because we need to have a little bit more. Okay. And uh, let me see this one. Okay. And here. All right. So in our groups, what are we going to do? So for example, if we have, in one group, it's going to be Elena, Elizabeth, and Patricia. So Elena is going to ask or tell Elizabeth something for Patricia, right? Okay. Elizabeth is going to ask and tell something um, uh, to Patricia about Elena. So how would be the example? I, I will say the example, okay? So I'm speaking to Elena. So I say, Elena, could you tell Elizabeth to please uh, stay after class? Right? Okay. That's it. Or can you please tell Elizabeth to stay after class? Here, why do I use tell and not ask? I use tell because I'm only giving information. I'm not asking for information. If I am asking for, for information, I have to change the word tell for ask. Okay? So, as an example, if I am asking for information, is I'm going to say, Elena, can you ask Elizabeth if she liked the movie? Okay, Elizabeth knows what movie. That's the only thing. It's okay what we're going to do, or do you need another example? Another example. Another example, okay. Let me practice with Elizabeth. Elizabeth Cortez, all right, okay. So Elizabeth and I are going to practice. So I'm going to say, or Elizabeth is going to ask me a question about, uh, about Camila. Uh, could you tell, I'm gonna ask you, Yep, about for Camila. About, That's right. The, the message is for Camila, exactly. Okay. Um, can you tell uh, Camila the, that I'm, that, I, the, that I won't be able to to be in the meeting. That is correct. That's exactly right. Okay. Camila, Elizabeth won't be able to be in the meeting. That's it. 
that's all we have to do is you make one with ask and one with tell. And then I go and I ask and I tell the next person and we go in the group of three or four. Is that okay? Yes, teacher. All right, let's practice then. Yeah. Oh, can you tell? Okay. Yeah. If that is a question. That can... is a common question for me because my mom never asked, never answered the phone. So all the time I said to my brother, "Can you tell my mom <laughs> answer the phone, please?" <laughs> In my case, my son. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's real life. <laughs> yes. Okay, your turn. Um, okay, I had to ask uh, Patricia about Elena, right? Okay. And um, ask Patricia about Elena. Okay, uh, could you tell... Uh, Could you tell, uh, okay, that's to put. Could you tell to, could you tell to, could you tell Patricia that uh, Elena is gonna be late? Um, Class. <laughs> the movie. Veronica, Gladys says you have to you be at class tomorrow, and you have to be on time. You can yeah, go out time. with your friends. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is okay. <laughs> your turn, Mary Carmen. Um. Let me think. Um, Gladys, can you can you tell Romulo that he has to be Saturday at Galerias at 5 p.m., please? Wow, uh, Romulo <laughs> says that you has you have to be at Galerias on Saturday at 5 p.m. What is that? Where is the where is the place that where we will meet us? Okay, Jose, I will ask to Bessie the address. Thank you. Okay. Um Jose. Could you ask Vanessa, when she's going to the supermarket? Okay, I can ask her. Okay. She likes the pin, the pin, the, the other one. She's an artist. <laughs> it looks nice, really. Okay. Camila, could you ask Carlos when he 
do the mm, wait could you could you ask carlos what time is it what time it is carlos what time is it it's night nine forty three i don't know it depends that the, the situation mm -hmm. Oh, oh, you mean you you mean that in the in the there 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 are three people. Yes, yes, yes. Patricia, I, 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 I think I I got your point. Yes, yes. Thank you. I, ex <laughs> excuse me, but I am sit. I flu 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 flu. Uh -huh. Yeah, flu. Got flu. Flu. Yes. Elizabeth is talking me? is talking with a with a person about another two persons. It's a conversation in yeah. between three people. Exactly, I mean, exa yes. exactly. I understand what you're saying. saying. I mean, I'm I'm reading the example when you early on the Sunday. Um, Gladys, can you repeat, please, the, the uh, question? Mari Carmen, could you please ask Veronica if she can stay with her family on Sunday? Okay. Um, Veronica, Gladys says if you can stay at the home with your family on Sunday. Yes, I can. I will. <laughs> yeah. Okay, great job making those requests. Okay. Are there any questions, anything that's not clear on how to use that or how to make it? We had fun. I'm okay, teacher. <laughs> we had fun asking everyone, everyone. <laughs> great, great. Now Okay, everything is okay, great. Now, there's only one thing that I noticed. Everybody is good with asking with tell and ask. That means like, uh, you know, the questions with WH, what time, or tell her the information. But I didn't hear many people using the if or the weather. I didn't hear many people say, can you ask so-and-so if this, can you ask, uh, uh, Jose, whether or not this. So what I'd like us to do is I'd like to go back and focus on using these two questions specifically, the if or the whether or not. Remember, for these, it's not information. This means that it's only the answers are going to be, the, the person is going to be for yes or no. Mm -hmm. So when you ask if, like, a, can you ask, um, Ingles, uh, uh, Ingles Corporativa, if they can help me access the platform, it's only a yes or a no. Because you're, it's, it's only this. The same thing. Can you ask uh, your mom whether or not she can, uh, can help me? Yes or no. That's it. It's okay, the if and whether or not. I, I have... Thoughts about the weather or not? How how should be the answer to that question? Ah, that's be it. Okay. Yes or not? <laughs> yeah, that, that's it. The same. The same as if. The same as if. Exactly. The same as if. Okay. Okay. So, Bane, can you ask if? Uh, can you ask Elizabeth if uh, she if she wants to go to a party? And then when you say, hey, Elizabeth, uh, Edwin wants to know, or Edwin asks, do you want to go to a party? And that's it. It's only yes or a no. The same if I change it. If I say, hey, Gladys, can you ask, uh, oh, sorry, uh, 
for, we're going to use the whether or not. Okay, uh, Gladys, could you ask Carlos whether or not, uh, whether or not. he he is looking for a job? That's it. And then, hey, Carlos, uh, Edwin wants to know: Are you looking for a job? Can you ask? Is that okay? I don't. I don't. I don't see the. I mean, what's the difference? It's the same answer. It's the same answer for the the the, the problem is not the answer. The, the the idea is for the structure of the question. The wow. yeah, but what yeah. because for example, isn't... because if you use for example, what time? Okay, yeah. uh, Gladys, can you ask Carlos what yeah. time yeah. the class begins? He has to give you information. It's not just yes or no. Whether or not. And you use whether or not or yeah. if only yeah. to get answers yeah. that are yes or no. The same as if. The same as if, exactly. Whether or not is the same, the same function as if. Exactly. So it's more easy to use uh, if than whether or not. <laughs> exactly. That's why, that's why we need to practice whether or not. Because you just like the exercises, you don't want to do the things that are easy. You want to practice what is difficult. Everything. Yeah. So, but Elizabeth, Elizabeth is correct. The idea is, if it's exactly the same answer and exactly the same idea as the phrase whether or not. Now, maybe in the end you say, no, nah, I don't like to use whether or not. It's too long. It's too complicated, and you only use if. No problem. But it's important that when someone asks you, you understand whether or not is the same as if they are saying if. Okay. Let's, okay. And th this one is just to practice just a few questions. All right, here we go. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, Patricia. So, uh, did you understand uh, what the teacher wants? Hello? Wait, excuse me. Uh, yes, uh, uh, we told uh, or make a question using WH. No, no, teacher. <laughs> no, no, Patricia, not WH. It's, it's only using um, whether or not or if. Uh, so let's, <laughs> let me give an example so, so it's clear. Okay. Okay. All right. So I say to uh, Elizabeth, okay. Elizabeth, uh, can you ask Patricia if she is married, is the same, the same sentence or the same question is, can you, Patricia, sorry, Elizabeth, can you ask Patricia whether or not she is married? She is married. Exactly. Okay, so you understand that whether or not, okay, and if is the same, okay? Okay. Thanks, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. So that's it. It's just practicing those two because those two are the ones that we didn't practice. And it's okay just to make sure that you understand that those are for the yes or no in the, the answers. The others are for when the person gives you information. Could you ask... Uh, Elena? The teacher. Oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> Could you ask the teacher whether or not uh, we... Uh, we're going to have class tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. And that same question that Elizabeth asked can be the same. Can you ask the teacher if we are going to have class tomorrow? Is the same, the same meaning. The answer is yes or no. Or no, yes, exactly. Yes, we are. No, we're not. Exactly. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, I'll let you practice. Hello, now you can try. Elena? Hello. <laughs> time. Okay, she has time. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, uh, Romulo asked Gladys if I can, if, if I can call her right now, please. Okay, Gladys, uh, Mari Carmen said uh, if uh, she called you right now. Yeah, that's okay. Um, well, Veronica, uh, can you ask Romulo uh, whether, whether or not he can he can explain me the class again. Romulo, glad to say if you whether or not can explain her again the class. Yes, I can after the class. Thanks, okay. Romulo. Uh, Mari Carmen, can you ask? Oh, you ask Vanessa. Oh, no, it's your turn. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, it's my turn. Ah, uh, Bonnie, can, could you ask Jose if he is going to buy the vanilla ice cream? Ah, uh, okay. Ah, uh, you ask to Jose. Okay, Bessie, could you ask to Jose where? Carlo, do you like a pet? Pet? Yes. Yes. The okay. I prefer dogs. Okay. And Camila, could you ask Rocio what's, what is? No. Uh, Camila, uh, ah, I forgot the, word, the sentence. Uh, Camila, could you ask if Rocio play Nintendo? Okay. Can you ask Rocio if she plays Nintendo? Okay, would you ask Rocio if she plays Nintendo? Yeah, Rocio, do you play Nintendo? Yes, I play Nintendo, Xbox, and PlayStation, and sometimes. Oh. <laughs> wow, Rocio! Wow! <laughs> I don't have Nintendo, well, I... you have Xbox, PlayStation. <laughs> and sometimes, and sometimes the PC, and sometimes the PC. Uh. <laughs> that's good, that's good. All right. Okay, guys. Great. The idea is simply that, it, like I said, everything was everything was very good, and we just wanted to practice the last couple questions with whether or not and if, just to make sure that we practiced all of them. All of the other ones were good. I think it's pretty easy. If you have time, I recommend that you watch the videos from 3.8 to 3.11, because the videos are all about this. This is just it, it it's easy. I think I think it's pretty easy when you practice doing it, but it's important to watch the videos just to make sure that uh, you understand the technical aspects. If there are any questions or anything, we can talk about them tomorrow. Remember that tomorrow, normally we don't have class, but for this week because of Monday, we are going to have class tomorrow. Okay. Okay, teacher. All right, guys. Have a great night. Enjoy it. Okay, I'll see you guys good tomorrow. Night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.